Hi everyone, my name is Olivia Contreras and I'm going to be teaching you how to wash your dog. So the first thing I like to do is I like to prepare myself. I have my tearless shampoo, I have a towel, and then I have my bathtub right here. Um, this is the dog we're going to be bathing. This is my little buttercup. Um, the first step you want to do is take off their collars or vests. Personally, I like to do clean my dogs with music but it's up to you what you prefer so i would strongly recommend changing it to something old it really helps the second step is going to be starting your bath water and you want to make sure it's warm but not too hot for your dog so after your bath is filled up decently you are going to grab your dog and you're gonna put them in there the first thing you want to do is get them all soaked up, all wet. Usually, I like to use my cup, and you just go on and get that water all up on there. Um, personally, I like to use tearless shampoo just because it does protect your dog's eyes. Um, also, you want to make sure you're getting a full body. I'll show you what she looks like after she is all soaked up. Get the underbelly as well. <laughs> You're gonna grab your tearless soap or whatever soap you use, and you're gonna grab it. Okay. You're gonna go like this, and you're just gonna try to get it all over. One of my main things I like to do is go from the body down, um, trying to get the belly because the soap goes down to the legs anyway. So you're down, and boom, there's one. Especially with her, it's really easy to wash her. So the one right here, just because she is such a good girl. Um, but yeah, even if your dog is not a fan of baths, I would just recommend talking to your dog while giving the bath. It sets a tone of comfort. Also, your dog matches your vibes and how you're feeling. So as long as you're calm going into the bath and not feeling aggressive, so will your dog. Also, a constant praise. If your dog's really not a fan, I um I would have some treats on you. Usually, treats are a good way to praise your dog for being calm, being good in the bath. Because I know not all puppies are fans of being in the bath. Yeah, this actually worked out perfect because I really needed to give my bath my dog a bath anyways. Um, so yeah, now we have the front two legs. I'm just gonna pick up that bit with the soap. Try to get all the crusties out from being outside. Good girl. And drop and get all that soap out. All right, after your blow dryer is plugged in, um, you're just gonna grab it. Go this as well. Sorry, to blow. Okay. And usually, I like to keep the um towel under, just because it makes it a lot easier if there is like water that still comes through. But um, yeah. So we can start that now. Here we go. So we're just going to start right here. <laughs> Usually I have it on the second level. Um, not the second level on both, just so it's easy. And then you start drying. It's pretty common that it is on the part. Usually I just like to run my fingers through. 
and drag it. Let's know. Right, we are partially there. <laughs> um, usually, I like to give her little breaks. I do her body first, as you can tell, it's really, really fluffy. We just have to do her tail and down here. Um, for this part, it is a little harder for her because she does not, because she does not like it touched. So, what I do is, <laughs> I grab her like this. Usually I hold her and we just With dogs, while washing them, breaks are completely normal. I like to give her as much breaks as she needs, because I know it gets a little overwhelming and crazy. But so far, so good. Come on. And this right here is our finished product. I need to cut your wings, but we'll do that for something else. Um, usually if it's colder, I have her in a little sweater or something. For the sake of this video, I'm going to have her in her little frock hat. I'm going to go look. Finished product.